Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about 3D printing supports, but probably not in the way that you think I'm gonna talk about them. I'm gonna talk about what to do after the print. See you guys inside. So as I elaborated to in the beginning, I'm talking about supports. Specifically, what can I do with them after the print? After I've got a basically a pile like this. Got just tree support, standard supports, resin supports. What do I do with this stuff after I've done printing with it? Now, a lot of people's answer, which I get it, is throw it in the trash, get rid of it. It's junk, don't need it, it's waste. But I disagree with that. And a lot of times I, I look at that as a failure of imagination in some, in some aspects, because running a 3d printing business waste is lost money and i hate lost money and i hate just throwing stuff like this in the trash because even though i've cured it it's still a plastic it's still going to go to the landfill and degrade poorly or something like that now again this is a resin support and it is cured i did cure it um but what what can something like this be used for after we're done what's a way i can re reuse it recycle it or even just you know what do i do with it after i'm done other than throw it in the trash can well a lot of that to me is a, is an imagination you've got to use your imagination on what to do with this not like this this came out of half of a sphere i printed using a tree support method um, from bamboo labs uh slicer and honestly you take a look at that that's actually pretty cool that would be a pretty cool diorama piece to use as a weird alien tree or organic alien building or something like that that can be dressed up, painted, and recycled and reused to make a print even, even more beautiful. Same with this tree support. I mean, it's just printed. It looks weird. Could be easily be a burnt tree or something like that to allow you to utilize these prints and not just pitch this or, or throw it in a recycling can. There's a lot that you can do with this. Now, like this one has a ton of layer lines in it. Yeah, I, I would probably take Rust-Oleum filler primer and prime this really well and fill in a lot of those without having to sand or anything like that. But you can also use things like the Fantec uh, rotary tool and different things like that to etch in scars or different things like that into, into your item. Now, tree supports, pretty easy idea, right? Trees works out pretty well. You can kind of make really interesting stuff with trees, but then you've got the standard, the standard ones that do the cubes and stuff like that. And how would I use stuff like this in other items? It's just trash, Mike. No, it's not. Um, one way that I utilize these a lot in a diorama or a model that I'm working on, that I'm working on is, um, debris. It's not hard to take my snippers because guess what? It's support. It's really thin. Well, if I grab less than one layer and turn it into a, a debris and start piling it up to make it look like bricks, broken metal girder lines, different things like that to basically make my print fill in. But also, what else do I use this for? Well, Sometimes I'll use this in fillers and big gaps in old, in old models that I don't, you know, I needed it to be hollow for laying down wires or something, but now I just want to fill it in. This makes great material to cut up and use as shavings and different things like that to throw it into the print. Now there's also new technology kind of evolving on the field for this kind of stuff. Now, these are just PLA. They're just PLA, but there's a product called Loop. It's a, basically it's a shredder grinder and making new spool of filament from your scrap. Um, it's kind of still in its testing phases, but it's a product that's out there that can allow you to take this and turn it back into a spool and reduce your waste completely. Which for me with the Bamboo Labs, X1 Carbon, the AMS, well, let's be honest, those printers poop a lot. <laughs> and it, uh, it creates a lot of waste, especially when you're changing colors a lot. It creates a lot of wasted filament. That's just going, that's just money down the tubes. Um, now, sometimes I see people take and put it on an oven sheet and melt it down into a sheet and cook or cut it into different designs, and different things like that. And that's totally viable to do. But also kind of keep in mind, 
you can actually use these in your models. Um, stuff like this upper part can easily be used as a kind of a cool explosion or it's a it's a level of imagination to where you can take these random pieces. I know in a, a stream a few years ago I had it was just a dome piece that was support printed with the default supports. I turned it into a fuel canister um, for a diorama because it was just for a lot of people it's just trash. But for me reducing my amount of waste that goes out of my print shop is very important. So using your your ideas, using this to, you know, fabricate, you know, can that be something I stick on the edge of a building or outside of explosion for debris? Hey, awesome. Which I use a lot of wire and a lot of cotton to make my explosions on dioramas. Just just putting it out there. So FDM, there is tools coming to make that recyclable for us and make it reusable. But also, like I said, it's an imagination. Resin, on the other hand, little bit more scary to work with but just the girder for debris for building girders alone right there has a lot of cool personality and usability and one of the things that i do too is i've got a, just a cheapo coffee grinder i don't have it plugged in right now but i throw it in here and i'll i'll make a batch here but i'll throw in a small piece and I'll let this coffee grinder go. Now, again, take it slow. Don't run this thing forever, but it will chew up that resin into a powder. And a lot of times, and again, when you do this, wear a mask. Don't just uh, do this, but I'm gonna grind it real quick. And while I step away and grind, if you guys haven't um, joined the channel, make sure you're subscribed hit that thumbs up button or throw out some additional ideas for recycling supports. What are you guys doing with them? This is just some of the ideas I do with them from time to time. Um, Cause again, I don't like waste. So throw it down in the comments. What do you do to make your supports usable in other projects? And again, comments, like, subscribe. And if you do consider joining the membership for learning about cool stuff like this, helping me get things to show you that you're interested in on the channel. All that money, all that support goes to assisting this channel growth with cool new items and working on new ideas. So I'm gonna grind this and we're gonna hop right back. Okay guys, like I said, it just takes a few minutes. This took me about five minutes, but I've ground it down to that particulate. This is just a cheap, co I think this is a $20 coffee bean grinder. Now, I've got that nice fine powder in there. What does that guys make you think of? To me, one of the things that I use it for is ballast. So instead of buying the bags of gravel and different things like that, or going to the beach and getting some sand, different things like that, I'm using resin support, grinding it up, putting it down in the glue, in the PVA glue, and I'm painting it. That's one way that I recycle this stuff and I reuse it. Now also too, I'll snip it off and when I'm making towers or anything like that, that's beautiful girder work right there. You don't want to throw that away. You want to use it. And it's kind of the two ways that I kind of recycle my resin supports when I have to use them, um, which every print you're going to have to use them. It is what it is. But that's one way that I reuse them or I'll snip them up and I'll make towers or gir bank girders. And what's cool is he they're heat manipulable, just like the FDM, that you can use heat or a lighter or heat gun and bend them to look warped or damaged or whatever and use them to build. So... This is just kind of an idea video I'm throwing out for everybody today. Just kind of giving an idea, hey, you know, don't throw this stuff away. Use your imagination. Think of what you can do to reuse it. How can I cut it or snip it to make something cool? Like, I'm kind of curious to how I'm gonna actually make this look into a piece of alien forest. And, uh, you know, kind of have that go through. The tree support, I mean, it's a tree. Use it as a tree, it's fantastic. Even if it's alien growth or burnt trees or anything like that, your imagination can take hold here. And these are just a few ideas I have and that I utilize. So, you know, I'm putting it to you guys again. What ideas do you have to reuse your supports or make them functional so that they're not trash? Now, if you guys are interested and want me to do a video on supports, especially with the newer softwares like Shintu Lab Pro, uh, the Bamboo um, Studio, different things like that because I know it's been a while since I've done one and it's only was in Cura. So if you guys are interested in those support videos, definitely let me know down in the comments 
and we'll see about getting one of those made here in the upcoming weeks if you guys are really interested in it. So again, thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.